Okay, somebody asked a question, how do the eyepieces go in and stay in? And I realized we don't have a good video about our latest draw tube. And this draw tube is a big part of the overall analog sky story. And so this is a great time to do a quick video about this draw tube. You can see on the outside we have a helical thread pattern. This isn't the helical thread pattern we started with, but it's the one we use now. You can see on the inside there are these grip fins, flexible fins that hold the eyepieces in steady. We didn't start with those flexible grip fins, but those are what we have now. In order to insert an eyepiece, you just slide the eyepiece into the draw tube. And those grip fins will hold it nice and snug. No matter if you turn it upside down, you turn it all the way down to the horizon. So that's pretty cool. On binocular telescopes, it's especially important for your eyepieces to be perfectly centered all the time. Now if we want to use an inch and a quarter eyepiece, we have these handy adapters. They also have grip fins on the inside. We also have some with screws on the inside for uh, pesky undercuts and things like that. And so you put this adapter onto your eyepiece and then it will just click lock into place inside of this draw tube. You can see the little tabs that go into the holes and then they click into place. And what that means is that eyepiece, even though it's a very long, heavy eyepiece, stays perfectly collimated with the rest of the optical train, even when it's held totally horizontal like this. And guess what? You can turn that upside down too. So we have two rows of grip fins inside of these draw tubes, and those help to keep two inch eyepieces perfectly straight whereas those little tabs really help to keep our inch and a quarter eyepieces straight. Now, like I said, these draw tubes did not start this way. They started with clamps on top, with long arcs. They, did, they had a different thread profile that was a little bit grainy and took a lot of breaking in to get it really smooth. And so it's through the process of user feedback from our hundreds of customers on Magic, Sunny, Ember, Heart, to really dial in how these draw tubes could work best. And so we're on version 7 of this draw tube now after two years, and I think everybody's pretty pleased with these at this point. So that's just the power of using 3D printing, using materials like plastic that can work a whole lot better than metal, and getting together a community of people who can give their feedback, and then I can send them prototype parts to try out, and then we can send a part out to the larger group when we're happy with that prototype. And now we just have a much better part. It's been a wonderful journey getting to this point. I'm really happy with these. And, um, and I think they demonstrate what Analog Sky is all about. <laughs>